Hello, welcome back. So now we are going to look at page 49, exercise 3B, navigating a map. So now you understand some basic principles of how the ArcMap um, document works. So this time to do some more exploration um, using ArcMap navigation tools. So in this exercises, we are going to learn to zoom and pan around a map. Use map tip and identify features and examine their attributes. So now let's start ArcMap. Do you still remember how to start our ArcMap? So uh, last time we did was uh, we go to click ArcMap first, um, but actually we can just navigate to our folder. Um, that my folder right here is in my Trump drive that um, getting to know ArcGIS and we know it's in chapter 3 and we can just click the map document so that's another way we can start our art map so this map document looks similar to the one we worked um, in exercise 3a but with fewer layers so now let's look at the tools okay the first one we are going to uh, see is the click zooming tool so with the magnifier zooming tool if we um, move the mouse pointer over the map the pointer becomes a magnifier glass so see magnifying glass so let's see um, Florida now right now I'm in Florida so I click here and zoom in more and we get to see Orlando let's go to Disney World okay and that's how you drag when you see a rectangle and you let it go and it's zooming more for you so let's press the drag pointer to a drag uh, drawer box around the country of Australia so let's go back Australia so when you click and it drag and now we can see the whole view of um, Australia and if like we do more we may mistake and we can always go back use the full extent view that we already uh, did many times or we can just go back previous extent see and go back forth but back and forth and back again let's go back to Florida and we can just play around okay so now we tried those uh, button many many times okay now the display is zoomed in on Australia very good Australia and zooming in or out changes the display scale and we can see here and we can see this room out and zooming to Australia and we can see the scale changes okay which is shown here on the standard toolbar when the map show the entire world our scale was approximately let's go back it was 1 versus 73 million and if we zoom in it's only 11 million close to 11 million so scale is also affected by the size of the ArcMap application window. So if your window is smaller, that scale might be different. So don't just look at my um, map scale in, because my screen size and your screen size might affect on that. So now um, you can use continuous zoom by rotating the wheel of the computer mouse if you have one. So I have one. So now if I school and that's how and you don't have to click this button and once you back in select elements button that you can always zoom in and zoom out to see the item now to avoid accident zooming it is best to use the select element too so which one I already change back and the same way that you can screw back and forth um, that you can you can see that um, and now if you hover something um, you can see this is Australia 
and Australia and still Australia, and this is、uh, Papua New Guinea. So move the mouth pointer over Australia continent, and now we can see that、uh, a display Australia was. So map tips are a layer property.、Uh, those are here, the map tip. Okay,、um, they can be turned on or off of the display toolbar on the layer property dialog box. You can see map tip no matter which tool is active. Well, right now I want it on. In the tool、uh, tools toolbox, click the pan tool. So we want the pan to drag move over.、Um, We want to see an Antarctica or、um, or Greenland or Iceland. That we have to use the pan tool、um, to do that. Okay. Pressing and hold the mouth button, drag the display to the southeast. So、um, your travel direction is northeast until you can see Iran. So、now let's move around. Let's see. We can see Iran right here. Okay.、Um, then we can、um, use identify tool. And right now we already see this is Saudi Arabia and this is Iran. And we can just use identify tool again. Click Iran. You will have to press and then release the mouth button a couple of times until you arrive your intended destination. So another way to drag. Is drag the map with the middle mouth、um, button or mouth wheel held down. So now、uh, we already click the identify tool and we clicked Iran on the map. So notice that the feature fresh green when you click with the identify tool. Let's click it again. There. Um, in the identify window, you will find feature specific information that is stored with the country country's data set, including ISO, which is International Organization for Standardization. It's right here.、Uh, ISO, 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 International Organization for Standardization numbers and codes, population area, and many other statistics. That's a lot. So, what is the ISO number for Iran?、Um, good question. So, it's six. No,、um, this one is Saudi Arabia. Iran is right here. Okay, it's three six four. Okay, but the identify window still open.、Uh, click several other countries in the display area. Notice that the information in the identify window is updated automatically as you click different features. You do not have to close the window and reopen it each time you want to identify new features. So let's do that. Let's look at China, Russia, Algeria, Egypt. Okay. Now we can、um, click the fix zoom,、um, which is this one, fix zoom. So now we can see Iran better. Okay.、Um, then fix zoom button remains the center point of the display area as they increase or decrease the display scale. Now let's fix the zooming button three more times to observe the scale bar. How right here changes, okay? So now you can see it changes like、uh, decreasing thirty million, twenty five million, twenty million, fifteen, and when we zoom out, it's the same twenty, and then twenty five, thirty, forty, fifty, and we can do till eight, six, five. Four, three, two, and then we increase it back and observe the scale bar how it changes. Okay, so now click go back to the previous sand tool several times and go to the so we can do that.、Um, go back and forth, go back and forth, back and forth. Okay. Now use the following tools to zoom, move around the map until you are comfortable with arc map navigation, zooming, zoom out, pan for 
、uh, fix your main, fix your mouth, previous exchange, and、uh, next exchange. So I think、uh, for now I did so many. We already familiar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven tools. Okay. Plus the identify tool and select element. It's a good habit to activate the select element tool whenever you finish using a tool. So let's go back. Uh, this will prevent unwanted zooming, measuring, or other tool active active once you are finished using the tool. Another option is to access tools to by right click the map. A content menu appears with navigation and other com commonly used commands. So, and that's what we see here. Okay,、um, that you select without changing your current active tool. So you didn't make any changes to this map, so there is no need to save your work. So we are not continuing.、Um, so we just being familiar with those tools. So we just close everything out, and we don't need to save anything. Thank you.